All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Kol Hala Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakal Kodesh. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and who taught me this truth. And Shalom to you, sincere Akiyamate, listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And I'm going to jump straight into this video. Lord willing, it's edifying. It shouldn't be too long. All right. I just want to um, land back up. I did a video yesterday about, uh, I think it was yesterday, about, um, you know, uh, wars and rumors of wars and, and not being troubled, right? And I mentioned um, what's going on with between India and Pakistan, all right? So here's another a video, just coming back to uh, land back off of it to follow up. Um, today's February 28th, 2019, and uh, this is a video off of uh, RT America, February 27th, 2019. You know, I mentioned that India and Pakistan are both nuclear, con uh, both countries that have nuclear missiles. I, what I didn't mention is what I believe is happening is what, you, what you're seeing is um, you're seeing um, the different sides, okay, rallying for power. Every, all these nations are basically uh, jockeying for sides. No difference, no different with India and Pakistan because there's a, a world's war. Uh, you know, the scriptures talk about the second world past, the third world coming quickly. Okay, and what you're seeing is the, the beginning of the thirds woke, all right? You're seeing the nations jockeying for sides. Either you're going to be with uh, America or you're going to be with the, against America. And the scripture says that they're going to hate the whore, which is the beast, and they're going to uh, shoot missiles on the beast, all right? And that's what you see. You're seeing all the allies uh, jockeying for sides and, 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 and making moves, all right? No different with India and Pakistan, Okay. So with that being said, let me uh, play some play this video, and then I got a couple of scriptures, and I shut it up, shut it down. All right. So again, like I said, uh, a warning: India and Pakistan on nuclear cliff. Because like I said, that we in them times, man. Wars and rumors of wars. Okay. The uproars of the people, sedition amongst men. We're in these. We're in them times. We're we're we're, we're approaching Jacob's trouble. Okay. But anyway, uh, let me play this video. And here we go from the national headquarters of RT America in our nation's capital. Hello again, everybody. I'm Rick Sanchez. On a night when the U.S. and North Korea's presidents make nice and talk nukes, also while the cameras from CNN and Fox News and MSNBC and even the BBC, the BBC go with nothing but wall-to-wall -wall coverage of Michael Cohen. Okay, so I'm going to run that back, too. Like I said, uh, when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction shall come upon them as if, as if a woman in travail. And that's what you see. They're trying to rock the people to sleep. And I, I mentioned that before. A lot of these things are just distractions from what's really going on. Okay? If you look at the downfall of the Roman Empire, there's, there's no difference. There's no new thing under the sun. The same thing was happen, happening when you, when you look at the downfall of Rome, right? They were distracting the people. They had mass... Uh, they had a lot of uh, fights in the Colosseum, you know. They had a lot of things to distract the general public, and there's no difference. Uh, them uh, attacking R. Kelly, them uh, the Andy Cohen, Cohen thing or whatever, all these things are distractions, distracting you from the important things that are really going on, okay? Like I said, the sedition amongst men, the kingdoms divided against each other, the uproars of the people, they're trying to rock the people to sleep. But I'll run that over to you. National headquarters of RT America in our nation's capital. Hello again, everybody. I'm Rick Sanchez. On a night when the U.S. and North Korea's presidents make nice and talk nukes, also while the cameras from CNN and Fox News and MSNBC and even the BBC, the BBC go with nothing but wall-to-wall -wall coverage of Michael Cohen. There is something else brewing that in terms of worldwide implications is actually more newsworthy than those stories. India has bombed Pakistan, and tonight Pakistan is responding. All right, let me show you this picture. That's an Indian pilot. He was shot down, and we've seen video of him throughout the day. Actually, we saw video of him actually being beaten by his captors. In fact, Pakistan says it shot down two Indian military jets, and uh, as you can see in this video, they have captured at least this pilot. All right, this is a major escalation between these two, and there's a key. So you said this is major escalation. Why is it a major escalation? Because 
tensions are high right now worldwide not just with uh you know with uh Kim Jong Un we the 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 world, we're in like a, a a giant bubble man you know a giant cold war that's basically what we're in right now and and like the scripture said the weak are strong they have those ice intercontinental ballistic missiles man they're very powerful so everybody has to tread lightly okay but hey the lord the lord is a man of war okay he has a controversy with you heathens man so whether you want to or not or whether you the Lord is going to force your hands. Something is going to happen, and then you guys are going to officially go to war, man. Okay? Thus say if you're Hawabashim, you're Hawashai. All right? And like I said, they're jockeying for sides. I haven't done my full research, but I'm pretty sure one of these countries, either India and Pakistan, side, is siding with America, and uh, one of the India and Pakistan is siding with Russia and China it has, and Iran. It has to be. That's what you see going on. The, the, that's what happened in the first and the second world's war. The, the, basically, the, the, the world was split. That's why it was a world war. Half the countries sided with this side, half the countries sided with that side. But ultimately, when the war fully gets popped off, they're all going to turn on the whore and rain missiles over here, okay? On America, Babylon the Great, and Israel, man, okay? Those two countries for sure are going to get nuked, okay? Thus say if Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? But like I said, that's what you see, wars and rumors of wars. And be ye not troubled, man. All The Lord said all these things must surely come to pass. Okay? But the end is not yet. Key word here that I'm going to share with you. Between these two nuclear powers, nuclear powers, yes. I said it yesterday. Both countries have nukes, and tonight the world can only hold its collective breath that neither one will use them in this clash over Kashmir. India They're not gonna is use confirming it yet. that it They're not going to use it yet because, like I said, other prophecies have to come to pass. But they eventually are going to use it, okay? They are going to shoot them nukes off eventually, okay? ...has lost one MiG-21 fighter, and uh, it's also demanding the immediate release and safe return of that pilot. We have our correspondents here. We also have correspondents in Moscow. I'm not going to turn this. I want to get into the scriptures. I don't, I don't want to make this video too long. Like I said, go do your own research, man. Stop being a slugger. Do your own footwork, okay? I'm just I'm just here. I do my videos for the hopeful elect and you and just, you know, showing you brothers some things that are going on in the world, you know? Um Uh, let me start. Actually, I'm gonna start with Second Ezra. Second Ezra chapter uh nine verse Second Ezra chapter nine verse one. I'm not gonna read the whole thing, man, but like I said, this is the this is the spirit you're supposed to be in, man. Okay, it's a second Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And that's what you were with the watchman, the watchman of Yasharala. We're watching, warning the brothers, man, warning the hopeful elect, warning the believers, man. You know, the doors of mercy are, are drastically closing, man. As soon as, in a blink of an eye, things are going to drastically change. Your, your, every, your, your everyday life is going to change, man. Okay. You're going to really understand what's really important, okay, in a blink of an eye, okay, and that time is drastically approaching. Now is the time to build your faith up, study, you know, be fully persuaded in your own mind, do the works, okay. Second Ezra 9 and 1, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently, diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee, then shalt thou understand. And we're seeing parts of the signs passing, okay? We're, we're watching, okay? We're studying, we see, okay? Then shalt thou understand that is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And when he, once he's beginning to visit, that's Jacob's trouble, man, okay? you in trouble when the Lord starts to visit this place if you ain't right. If, you don't have, if you're not accept, um, exempt from judgment, you don't have that hedge around you from your Yahweh your Shai. Hey, you in trouble? All right, I'm not even gonna play, uh, play, any, um, read any more of this slot here. All right, well that's the main point. You're supposed to be measuring the time in itself diligently. Okay. Um, let's go to First John. I'll start at uh, verse seven. First John two and seven, brethren, because like I said, I do my video for the hopeful elect, man. The sincere, the sincere Akim out there, and the few sisters that's out there listening and learning, man. All right. It says, Brethren, I write no new commandment unto you, but an old commandment which ye had had from the beginning. 
The old commandment is the word which ye have heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write unto again a new commandment I write unto you, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is past, and the true light now shineth. Okay, exactly, because we we woken up out of that sleep. We're out of the sunken place. We have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Okay, the true, the sound doctrine. Okay, starting from the from the elders of GMS, starting from, from a, elder apostles to horror on down. We have the truth, man. Okay, the prophets are back. We know who the prophets are. Okay, this is verse nine. He that saith he is in the light and ha and hateth his brother is in darkness even until now. <clears throat> and that right there is kind of a, a trick bag because we hate two thirds. We hate two thirds of you. you. You're our brothers, but we hate you. We hate you right now because you're not in the right mind. You gotta die and come back in the right in the in the right spirit. Okay, in the kingdom. Then, then we'll love you again. But right now, two thirds, you're of the father of the devil. So we hate you. The Lord hates you. Okay. Um, but, but this scripture, right? This verse is pertaining to the brothers, the elect. Okay. That's your neighbor, your brothers that are in this fight for you, this fight with you. That's your brother. Okay. That Yahweh Shai, when when his mother was looking for him, he called a woman. He said, "Did you not know I'm about my father's business?" He said, "You, the ones that do my father's will, they are my brothers." Okay. That's the brother that she's talking about. That's your neighbor, the hopeful elect. Okay, fuck you two thirds. Okay, he that saith he is in the light and hateth his brother is in darkness even until now. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light, and we love our brothers. That's why I said this is a labor of love. We do this shit constantly, in season, out of season. We out there on the highways and the byways pushing this truth, trying to wake up the elect. You know, making our bodies a living sacrifice. You know, being being a spectacle amongst men, being laughed at, scoffed at, look being looked at as the shit of the world. But hey, the Lord deals with the low man. The Lord, the meek shall inherit the earth. Okay, we we'll take that because we love our brothers. We we hate you two thirds, but we love our brother, our sincere brothers. They're gonna receive it. They're gonna understand. They're gonna fall in line and follow. Okay. You know, continue. Like I said, this is a race. The race is not for the swift, but who can endure? All right. They're going to watch and, and learn and, and, and continue. And, and that's how the elect is going to get sealed. And that's how we're going to get out of here. OK, it says First uh, John 2 and 10. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light. We continue in this sound doctrine that we were learned, what we were taught. OK, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. We, we give you this, this, the whole truth. We don't add or take away from the word. OK. Babylon, the great, is America, and this bitch will be destroyed, man, whether you like it or not. Esau, Edom is a so-called white man. They're going into slavery, and then they're going to be destroyed, whether you like it or not. Two-thirds of Israel is going to be destroyed, whether you like it or not, okay? We tell you the whole un unfiltered, un unadulterated truth, okay, because we love our brothers, okay? It says, he that loveth his brother abideth in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness and walketh in darkness and knoweth and knoweth not whither he goeth because that, that that darkness has blinded his eyes. And most of you guys are blind. You don't know what the hell is going on. You just you just wandering from from video to video, from camp to camp because you you lost, man. OK, it says I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. OK. And the only ones that are sins are, are, are forgiven are the elect, man. And and the one-third, the ones that were predestined from the beginning to be saved, the believers, okay? They are the only ones whose sins are forgiven, okay? And the and the, the people that I mentioned, they're all Israelites. They're all Yasharala, okay? Now, like I said, we're, we're going to be in, we're going to, uh, we're scattered amongst the four corners of the earth. So we're going to come in all different shapes and colors and sizes, man. It's, a, it, it, you know... If you can receive it, all right? But primarily, we, we are the Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans, man, okay? The West Indians, we, the, you know, we, we those are primarily the, the elect. I mean, uh, the 12, that's like a marker, okay, an in, a indicator. But we are scattered, okay? We're scattered amongst the other nations, all right? So if you can receive this, if this stuff makes sense to you, more than likely you are you are part of the elect, you know? Even even if you are a so-called Moabite, so-called uh, Chinese person, you know, 
Ishmael, Arab, you know, even if you look like a so-called Edomite, man, you might be part of the elect if you can receive this. Because the scripture said, none of the wicked shall understand. Okay, if you can receive this, if this stuff is something with you, you are probably part of the elect, okay? Lord willing, you endure till the end, okay? And do what the Lord said. Um, uh, Salakia. Uh, verse 13. I write unto you, I write unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I write unto, because everything is predestined, okay? Everything is predestined. We were sealed from the beginning. I write unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I write unto you, young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. I write unto you, little children, because ye have known the father. I have, I, I have written unto you, unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong, and the word of Yahweh abideth in you, and ye have overcome the wicked one. Okay? Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Like I said, we make our bodies a living sacrifice. We, we constantly push this truth out. Whether they hear or forbear, it's a labor of love. Because we, we're looking, we're fishing. Fishing for the elect. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So you got to separate yourself. You got you to gotta come out of Babylon, man. Give up this world, man. Okay? For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life. And pride go before destruction. A lot of you guys are prideful. You're not humble. You can't. You, you're not going to receive this thing unless you're humble. You got to be as newborn uh, babes desiring a sincere milk. Okay. You got to be ready to hear more than to speak. All right. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life. And a lot of you guys lust after the eyes, man. You go after these these pretty garments. You know. You, you, you're not look, you're looking at the outward man and not the inward man, all right? And the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passes away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of the of Yahweh abideth forever. And that's that's the love that's love, keeping the commandments, doing what the Lord told you to do, waking up the elect, being constant in season, out of season, all right? Uh, drop that. Let's go to uh. I'll get to the main point. Uh, sloppy. I'll get to the main point. Luke 19 and 13. All right. Uh, and he called his 10 servants and delivered them 10 pounds, which is which is that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding if you can receive it. All right. We each have been given a portion. All right. A talent. And you're supposed to go out and, and, and money. You're supposed to go out and, 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 and use that talent to gather the elect. Don't hide this truth. Don't hide this wisdom and knowledge and understanding that you have. Push. All right. And he called his ten servants, who Yahweh did, and he called his ten servants and uh, delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. All right? How do you occupy? By studying, put, uh, you know, being diligent, putting putting up videos, going out on the highways and the byways, you know, doing, doing the best you can to keep the commandments as best as you can. We can't keep all of the laws, but we try, you know. Rehearse the righteous acts. That's occupying, not being idle, not not doing the care, not you know. Don't we don't do the things that the people of this world do, man? All right, we're 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 our main concern is pushing this truth. Okay, occupy till he comes. He's coming. He's on his way. All right. Uh, let me see if I want to read some more of this. I I keep going on. It's good. I keep going. It's locky. I wasn't going to, but I go in the spirit. Uh, it's good. I want some more. Get some more meat off of this. It says, but the but his sit. Uh, I started thirteen again. Luke nineteen and thirteen. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. But his citizens hated him. Who is that? The two thirds. Okay. The two thirds hate the Lord. They hate. They don't want the Lord to return. That's why he said, Bring all them that don't want him to reign over him. Bring them hither so he could slay them before him. All right. Like I said, we hate the two-thirds, all right? We hate our brothers. I mean, Salaka, we love our brothers, the ones that are in this truth, pushing, laboring with us. Uh, but his citizens hated him and sent a message after him saying, we will not have this man reign over us. And that's what happened. They rejected the Lord, so the Lord rejected you, okay? And it came to pass that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then, the, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him. 
to whom he had given the money. Because what? The Lord, that, that that's that's when he returned. This is a future prophecy. This hasn't happened yet. Okay? This is why you're supposed to occupy. Occupy. Push this truth. Because this is what's going to happen when he returns. All right? Luke 19 and 15. And it came to pass that and he's on his return. He's returning. He's we, We're drastically approaching that day. The doors of mercy are closing, man. All right? It says Luke 19 and 15. And it came to pass that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him. To whom he, because what? Because what? Uh, he's bidding us to the marriage, right? And you got you, you to gotta have the wedding garment on. The, the works, the, the, the sound dropped in the works, man. Every man got to give an account, man, for every the things done in this body, all right? You got to carry a cross, all right? It says, uh, and it came to pass that when he was returned, that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him, to whom he had given the money, that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. Your works, your fruits, your labor, okay? Then came the first, saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained ten pounds. And he said unto him, Well, thou, well, well, thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a very little, have Thou authority over ten cities, and that's what we're laboring to do. That's what we want, our reward. Okay, we're we're looking to be the governing body when when the kingdom comes. All right. Uh, but this is the main point that I wanted here, though, because we are. I was I was going to the napkin nigger, <laughs> the napkin nigger. All right, you don't want to be this guy, a napkin nigger. Luke nineteen and twenty, and it came, and it came. Shalaki. And another came, saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin. For I fear thee, because thou art an austere. And that's why a lot of you guys, a lot of you, you, you people watch, but you don't get active, man. Because you really, you're fearful. And the scripture said he did not give us a spirit of fear, man. All right? So you got to shake that shit off. You got to shake, because hey, you got you to gotta stand for something, man. If you don't stand for something, you're bound to fall for anything. Take a stand, man. And it came, and and another came, saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin. For I feared thee, because thou art an austere man. And that's what I be saying all the time. And you guys don't really understand who you're dealing with. You have this perception in your mind of this Caesar Borgia, this fucking effeminate faggot Edomite, man. That's not the Lord. Okay? That is not, he's an, he don't play game. He's strict. Very strict. Okay? Very loving, very merciful, you know, but also strict, okay? When he's fed up, he's fed up. When he's had enough, he's had enough, okay? And he's, he's had it up to here with you niggas, man. For I fear thee, because thou art, an, thou art an austere man. Thou takest up that thou laidest not down, and reapest that thou didst not sow. And he saith unto him, Out of thou... Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knewest that I was an austere man, taken up that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Wherefore then gavest not thou my money in the, into the bank? Where's your fruit? Where's your works? What the fuck you been doing? I told you occupy till I come. What the fuck you been doing? Chasing bitches? Uh, playing Madden all goddamn day? What have you been scoffing on the comment boards? Just talking shit on the comment boards? Wherefore then gavest not thou my money into the bank, that at my coming I might have required mine own with usury. Okay? And that's the main point, man. He's an austere man. He's not fucking around. And the doors of mercy are drastically closing. All right? I'm going to keep pushing. Uh, Galatians 5 and 13. Uh, for brethren, like I said, I do my videos for the hopeful elect. All right? For and that's who the brethren are, the beloved, the elect. Okay, one hundred and forty-four thousand out of each tribe of, of Israel, man. Twelve thousand out of each tribe, men. Okay, not women, men. For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. What 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 did John say? Salakia. Let me go back up. Salakia, Salakia. Luke nineteen and thirteen, and he called his ten servants. And delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. Galatians 5 and, 13, 5 and 13. For brethren, ye have been called. Know ye not that you were bought with the price? 
Okay? We've been bought back. We've been redeemed. We were. It said that we were going to go into Egypt again with ships and no man might buy us. No one was going to redeem us. However, we were redeemed by Yahweh Shai. Okay? But there was a price. Okay? The price is you got to do this work. You got to push this truth. You got to fish. Okay? For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Like I said, you have mercy. There's grace. There's a grace period. Okay? You don't want to use the... Anyway, I'll let the scripture speak. For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh. Okay? Don't give in to the flesh. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is not. It's a constant battle. But you got to push through that. That's the main point. But by love, serve one another. That's the that's the loving your brother. Pushing this truth. Pulling them out of this fire. You know, these breakdowns, these videos, going out on the highways and the by that's love, okay? For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. For all the law is fulfilled in one word. Where is the word? In the scriptures, okay? Even in this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, as thyself. And that's what he meant. If you, with, with the, that's why you don't want to be a napkin nigger. You don't want to be a napkin nigger, okay? Because you understand this thing. You, you, you got this truth. You, you, you think you doing. You know, you trying your best to walk right and this, this, and that. But you ain't, you ain't, you ain't spread. You ain't, you ain't warning nobody. You seeing your brother going off. You, you just, you ain't saying shit. You don't love him, okay? Because you know he's gonna get condemned. You know he's gonna get destroyed. If you loved your brother, you would warn him. Whether, whether he's going to yell at you or not, you're going to warn him, okay? If your brother's in the bed sleeping and the house is on fire and he, and he got, he, he's in a deep, deep, hard sleep, are you going to give a fuck? Are you, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna tap him lightly and, this is, and worry about his feelings? No, you're going to rock him, shake him, wake the fuck up, man, because you love him. You want to pull him out that burning building. The same thing. If you don't love him, you're just going to leave him in his sleep, all right? I'll read that over again. Galatians 5 and 13. For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. For all the law is fulfilled in one word. Even in this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Okay? And uh, like I said, I'm going to drop that. Uh, I don't make it too, too long. Uh, I'll start it now. Revelation 19 and 9. And he saith unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage. And that's the elect. Like I said, we're bidding you to, we're, we're out here fishing, bidding you to the marriage, bidding you to the wedding, okay? Looking for the hopeful elect, okay? Telling you to get right. Put on the whole armor of the Lord, man. Put on the whole garment, the, the whole doctrine. Eat the whole roll. Some is sweet, some is bitter. Fuck it. Swallow it all down. Digest it. Put your emotions to the side, okay? And he said unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage of the so marriage Salakia. Revelation 19 and 9. And he said unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, These are the true sayings of Yahweh. And he and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou I do it not. Like I said, we ain't shit, man. We just fellow servants, man. We're brothers. I ain't shit. I'm, 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 I'm not important. The message is what's important, and whether you're gonna, you're gonna follow and do what we say, man. If you love the Lord, okay. And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, "See, thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is a spirit of prophecy, okay. And that's the main point that I wanted, man." The, you, the spirit you're supposed to be in is prophesying, w warning the people. If you love, if you love your brother, warn him. Occupy till he comes. Warn the people. Okay. You see, we in them times, wars and rumors of wars. That's the times, man. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna play some more this and I'll shut it down. Covering the very latest developments as they come into us, but I want to begin with an explanation of the history of this conflict. Here is NRS producer Joe Ricci. Kashmir is now the site of renewed conflict between India and Pakistan. The conflict is typically...
renewed conflict. Renewed. Okay? This is an old beef. Why? Because, hey, the third world, the second will pass, the third will come quickly, man. You know, the same, the same feelings that these countries have, but they ain't never changed. They were, they were, these feelings been dormant. Russia, uh, what you call it, uh, with the Soviet Union or whatever, the USSR or whatever, the, the, they, they, they still hate, they, they always hated America. They ain't never forgot. Okay. China, they didn't forget. Japan, you think Japan forgot about, uh, uh, those nukes that you dropped on them? No, they didn't forget. They're going to turn on this place, man. They're going to turn and rain missiles on this whore. Typically portrayed as black the and white times. between the Muslim Pakistan and the predominantly Hindu India. But the roots of the standoff go back to the British colonization of the Indian subcontinent. Oh, It always goes back to Esau Edom, man. He's a colonizer, man. Neither keep it at home. His desires of, as, as, as hell, man. Man. 1909, the British dominated a massive region that included the current countries of Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, and Burma, Myanmar. When the colony split up in 1947, Pakistan and India divided along the Radcliffe line. But the split was mostly directed by the British, who failed to take into account matters other than religion. For example, there was no provision for Bangladesh then known as East Pakistan. And that led to a war in 1971 between India and Pakistan, which resulted in the murder and rape of thousands. That's how it began. But it has never really been settled. And what's worse are the ominous words of this Pakistani military official who responded to the Indian attack of his country in this manner. Now it is time for India to wait for our response. The response will come at the point and time of our choosing where our civil military leadership decides and as a matter of fact has decided. It is your turn now to wait and get ready for our surprise. Reporting wow, I'm going to shut it down. <laughs> that it's your turn now to wait and get ready for our surprise because the weak nations are saying this strong, man. Okay? Well, anyway, with that being said, uh, Lord willing, it was edifying. Uh, and like I always say, we're almost out of here. Keep pushing. Shalom.